Good morning, and thank you all for joining us for Managing Finances Today and Tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, at One Main, our mission is to work to improve the financial well-being of hardworking Americans. Now, I have the pleasure of introducing the Honorable Chris Van Holland, U.S. Senator from Maryland. In the United States Senate and House, uh, we've been working to try to make sure that people's credit is protected using the tools of, we have, uh, but we've also tried to make sure we provide people with additional income. Thanks to the help of the CARES Act from our federal partners, we were able to provide some relief to citizens of Maryland, but uh, we still have a long way to go as many people are trying to figure out how to um, continue given the current pandemic and some of the restrictions. One of the things that, that has helped uh, has been the, the moratoriums that's been placed on, uh, you know, evictions and, and turnoffs, you know, and I think all of the stakeholders have, has been pretty, pretty liberal or pretty, pretty aggressive in their approach to helping the ratepayers, you know, the, the citizens. As you're thinking about what to do now, you know, your income may have changed significantly, or it may be really hard to predict from one month to the next what's going on, particularly if you were on unemployment and we're getting the extra 600 and now you're having to adjust from that. You do not want to navigate the social service system without a case manager. So try to connect to a service provider in your area uh, or call 211 and get someone working on your behalf. They can tell you about deadlines, they can tell you about important documents you're missing, they can tell you how to put your best foot forward. We use the most up-to-date uh, technology and a up-to-date database to provide you those resources. And when a specialist is um, uh, working with you, they will uh, ask you finding questions. So between January 1st of 2020, until last week is when the data came out, Americans have lost more than $145 million due to COVID-19 related fraud. Um, and the FTC also uh, states that they have fielded more than 200,000 complaints. Uh, if you have other questions, please feel free to email them to communityevents at omf.com and, and we will get them answered by our panelists. Uh, and thank you all for joining us today.